All right, here we go. This is a ranked 2v2 on Salt between the blue team. On the left side, it is Bromania in the Classic Helix and Lord of Lords in the Black Ops Striker. Their opponents, the red team on the right side, it will be Dead Scully in the Tomcat Striker and Happy Death in the Black Ops Striker. Three Strikers, surprise, surprise. <laughs> clearly, they're, uh, <laughs> clearly there probably needs to be another look at mech abilities, strength, uh, general statistics and all that stuff. But this game uh, is a replay that I told I was told does not break. Uh, submitted by one of these players, and um, looks like someone's taking their time trying to figure out what their loadout should be. But uh, as these players are all extremely capable players on a map that has has been around for a long time, you should expect extremely fast openings by um, very standard means, extremely efficient openings. Either team could send a striker to harass and effectively delay creeps, which has not happened quite yet. But as you see, very efficient. Red team actually splitting. Blue team going straight for bottom, so they will take that much faster. But red team trying to get a head start on the mid fight at the top. In the end, it'll probably turn out roughly even. Romania already coming out here with a couple Dillos to kill the initial 299, and it will die very quickly. Let me turn back my, uh, all my numbers because I suck. And there you go. <laughs> but, uh, Romania. Doing a flyby, realizing that the red team has a lot of units down there, but they actually haven't able, been able to take their bottom right outpost yet, where the blue team has had it for a little while now. So, that is fairly relevant. And yeah, it looks like it was an actual creep harass, as there were three in there. Did not catch that while I was turning on my numbers again. But Bromania getting focus fired in the air, so the red team will be down, or will be ahead. Um, two mechs to one at the top fight, should they choose to do that. Nope. More just a defensive line going down. Okay, Happy Death gonna do a little bit of a scout. Not a scout, but scout with a unit. So just basically searching for for something to harass, for something to neutralize, something like that. In the meantime, Red Team has briefly taken the top outpost. Where it goes right back down to neutral. And interestingly enough, the blue team is gonna go for the neutral clear on the mid. It will allow them to level up faster. If they can actually pull it off, the red team does notice that, does drop a couple of butchers for harass, but with the blue team here, it is basically going to be wasted butchers, um, as the mechs will be able to respond to it, and the butchers will die pretty quickly. T99 getting finished off by the last two tanks. First box of the game, Dead Scully passes it, but does not try to pick it up. In the meantime, Happy Death trying to get a neutralization over here, Bowmania handling that very well. Happy Death is the one that grabs the box, so red team does get it in the end. Mid-fight fairly even, one artillery piece up for the red team, none up for the blue team, but with 1-0 to zero is basically 0-0, zero to zero. it's not really a huge deal. Especially considering that the blue team has a couple healing units, eh, one healing unit, but it's enough. Actually, pretty low health bust busters being put up in the front here, there is a ratchet, but it is kind of dangerous to have the that low health. Okay, the ratchet is healing it up now, the blue team actually losing quite a lot due to those busters that got dropped just now, that got moved up very quickly, and then moved right back, losing a couple tanks. And the red team handling it very easily. Moving up their units. And taking mid, looks like they will probably be able to get us around. Blue team has cleared their side neutrals at the center, which is not super relevant. A single buster with a ratchet. Ugh, that might, I don't know how well that'll do against a line of four Dillos. In the meantime, red team completely slaughtering all blue team's units up here. Has a turtle up there. Lord of Lords getting a kill on Dead Scully, so eh, not, not really a humongous deal, mostly because the red team has such firm control of this area right now. It is 27 to 51, so the red team is kind of hammering the blue team right now. Blue team trying to do what they can to pull out, which is definitely the correct choice at this point. It was a correct choice when they started it. They probably should have pulled out a little earlier, honestly. 
And the freaking grenades by Bromania actually might get a couple tangos killed. Let's see, level three, level three, which is decent. We do have a Sam drop by Happy Death, gonna get handled by a couple of creep, defensive creeps getting put down by Lord of Lords. Great uh, counter, um, you know, countermeasure, a great response tactic. The red team does look like they're pushing out though. Blue team kind of on the back foot. That I, it is cause to panic for sure. The red team's so far ahead, and the the Sam's still doing a little bit of damage. This one did not get finished off, neither did this one. So the blue team has to come back, because I guess the the Sam's were not set on uh, attack; they were set on hold position. Bromania getting finished off in the air by Dead Scully. The red team reinforcing here at the top. Reiner going down, the red team pushing the blue team back very strongly right now. It is not looking great for Bromania and Lord of Lords. But they have held. This is basically the place to hold right here. Basically at the bottleneck that, you know, you could you can put a widespread and a, little, a lot of units down here to attack for the red team. Looks like they probably pushed up from, from the bottom. And the blue team gonna lose this post as well. Dead Scully low on health, but getting the finish on Bromania. Happy Death pinning down Lord of Lords here. And gonna get another Buster kill. That's pretty huge as well. Oh no, the one Buster does not die. Lord does not save it. Okay, there you go. He will. <laughs> but Dead Scully. Gonna start shooting up like crazy over here. Blue team taking the, the outpost back for now. Let's see if they can hold it. Okay, defensive sergeants do go down. This red dot in the corner of the map here that Sam is still alive. It's, bu it's bugging me. <laughs> but we do have another drop by. That was, I think that was Dead Scully. In the striker. A couple tangos at the corner. Actually does a decent amount of uh, <laughs> damage. Red team with quite a lot of pressure down here at the bottom. Lots of stingers, which is kind of hilarious to see. A stingers and a turtle blocking the way. So definitely want, wants to get the mechs out of there. But the blue team holding, I guess due to the amount of uh, AA over here, rather than, you know, tanks or any other ground attackable units. I'm a little surprised to see that they haven't tried to swap that outpost down here with tangos which looks like they've been able I mean that would be able to get a quick neutralization and neutralization is really priority at this point uh, trying to attack an outpost you have to cut off healing uh, you know unit reinforcements you might be able to upkeep cap the, the opponent you know you never know happy to trying to get the neutralization probably gonna get finished off here it does get it get does get it neutralized a couple of red uh, infantry a couple of red creeps walk in I don't know if that'll be really enough Honestly. And Dead Scully. Oh boy. They, okay. Red team losing a turtle. Not a humongous loss, but gonna lose another one. They are not cheap, though. <laughs> and blue team taking that outpost right back with a great defensive line over here by the blue team. And all those stingers, all that AA, all, that, all those units have been completely finished off. And now it's actually 43 to 26. The red team threw away quite a lot of units in that bottom outpost attack. The blue team was able to hold it off, and now they are creeping up once again on mid. Dead Scully, okay, already level seven for at least level seven for all mechs. Wow, this is uh, this game went by a lot faster than it actually did for me. <laughs> Time passes quickly when you actually see a lot of action, but we are well well into goalies, as you can see on the on the ground. The Gothic goalies out for the red team. But the blue team actually moving out on the bottom. Lord's, okay, Lord gonna bring it up to the top. So they're gonna focus on getting the mid the mid back. And it does look like, okay, Dead Scully going down. Romania getting that kill. And they have a lot of busters pointing into this middle outpost. They a, a neutralization would be huge. They put the goalie on the back, but that's easily defended by one more goalie. So they do reallocate it to that top right outpost. And they are actually now creeping up on the bottom. Busters like crazy. It's a buster meta for damn sure right now. But these busters killing a lot of stuff. I think 
I think these were in range of everything that was sitting over here. Only, let's see, two Archies uh, pointing in. But neutralization due to that goalie. Red team does take it back. Lord of Lords not able to take this outpost. Oh, this is a bunch of sergeants were brought, but not uh, occupying the infantry slots fast enough. So it does reallocate it for over here. Trying to get a uh, stinger killed. But a butcher and a goalie getting dropped for a great response by the red team. But so many busters out on the field for the blue team. Romania dropping the Q heal, saving himself there. Red team now pushing back with a bunch of goliaths. No neutralization attempt by the blue team yet. I would really have liked to see that. I mean, if they got that outpost neutralized, that's, you know, it's a huge window of opportunity. And it looks like they're more focusing on their opponent's front lines. There we go. We have another creep drop by Happy Death. Taking the uh, blue team, forcing them to respond. But um, this one up here is hilarious. Blue team now creeping up on the bottom. Heavy mines down. So the blue team cannot push into that bottom outpost. Not through this bottom lane due to those heavy mines. Doesn't look like he's going that way actually. Lord of Lords creating a front um, front line here on the low ground. And a lot of heavy mines down for the blue team as well. Surprise, surprise. No efficient way of detecting them. So, yeah. <laughs> Lord's trying to get neutralization here. This is just kind of like meandering while your army kind of builds up. But Lord getting finished off in the air by Happy Death at Focus Fire by the two strikers. Humongous. And all blue team's units are getting completely wiped out here. 56 to 67. The red team building back their upkeep. Holding that defensive line at the top outpost. Someone's pinging like crazy. I don't think I can see it in spectator mode. But now the blue team on the back foot. Their outpost under threat. Neutralized right now. A goalie and two busters along with a gangster there. Who's I think following Happy Death? Yeah. <laughs> but definitely a mech by himself. Okay, the goalies... Goalie's moving out here. Oh no, the goalies were just getting shifted up by Dead Scully. Which is a nice thing that you can do nowadays with the current unit controls. But the blue team losing ground here at the bottom. Red team probably going to be able to get this outpost under their control. Lots of unit variety over here. I mean, not outside of the meta, but at least it's a nice spread of different unit types. We got the gangsters. We even have stingers over here, turtles. Buster, like, there's not even two of the same unit for the red team. But Romania going to be able to finish off the turtle. Will he be able to finish off this buster at level 9? Lots of uh, damage done by the mech. Gangster drops. And let's see, Happy Death did get killed in that drop attempt. But they are doing a decent amount of fort health. It is half health for the blue team. So if the red team continues to do small drops, they could chip away to the point where they fo either force a wall to go up for the blue team on their fort, which would be a huge hindrance to their overall upkeep in terms of army presence on the field, or they could just get to finish with the drops. It's it's potentially, you know, it's that uh, window has now been created because they're at half health. And nothing, nothing on the, oh, we do have a nuke and we have a marker out by Dead Scully. Will Dead Scully be able to get any kills with this marker? Oh, right there, right next to the, the silo for the blue team. So that's pretty huge. And the blue team will need to kill that marker, or else the silo is going to be finished off. And there, there, here it is. Here it is. Here's the missile. Romania moving the one goalie away. Literally the only unit that would not have died <laughs> does grab the uh, ratchet and the, and the uh, flacker. And Lord of Lords repositioning a marker for a silo that no longer exists, as there is none back here. Red team actually losing a decent amount of ground at the mid, though. Goalie's getting pulled back, but now they are moving right back forward. Goalie's so strong. Interested to see if they actually transition into Devastators. Heavy mines down here. Okay, now blue team's going to be moving out to the bottom, I think. Or was that just repositioned? Okay, no, no, no. They are actually moving out. 
Red team gaining control once again, and um, and the silo being brought being built there again for some reason. But the uh, red team regaining defensive position on the middle outpost, but the marker forcing Happy Death to reposition all of his units. And now the goalies are over here instead of getting pushed out because I guess they noticed that the red team noticed that they were moving out and got their units in defensive position. Lord of Lords going to be able to get this neutralization actually. But really to what end doesn't really accomplish anything in the long run. Might have wanted to instead drop something for a little bit of fort damage. But now Romania now repositioning and going to try to get the okay goalies does get killed <gasps> that nuke is gonna get a lot killed oh lots of damage on the goalies they might want to just push in straight because that's a lot of that's a lot of half or a quarter health goalies which is pretty massive you might want to just go reckless at that point because your opponent's units are such low health and nope no one's on the other side is an osprey to heal it up to just like top it off and save them and now Bromania and Lord Lords gaining control amid. Lots of goalies being killed because they all got hit by that nuke. And Lord is sorting the goalies to death. Hilariously enough, probably gonna get killed over here by the by the No, does survive, gets back to his post. Does, it needs to drop the Q heal. Nope. Okay, but he's okay. He's okay. Lots of goalies dying actually. This one is these are all at very low health. Well, one is at full, but yeah. <laughs> now being pulled back to the top right outpost. One more missile gonna go down, but it's not really gonna get anything killed or any accomplish anything. There you go. Happy Death repositioning very well. Ooh, and Lord Lord's getting focus fired over there. Romania getting focus fired! So we do have a team wipe on the blue side. Red team can take advantage of this and are already pushing out. Box up. And they will probably lose. Blue team will probably lose this bottom left outpost, considering all these freaking Goliaths coming. It's a lot of Goliaths, regardless of what the blue team has in their build queue. They're not going to be able to save this. That's just way too many. Oh, the heavy mine actually doing a lot of work. But the outpost does get neutralized. Tons of infantry pre-dropped, and the outpost does go red. Blue team going to pull their units back. That one last goalie is going to get finished off. Romania not going to be able to save it. 50 to 62. One blue nuke is going to be dropped over here, I think. Yep. And not much really relevant killed. One infantry gets killed in the outpost. So we actually have the blue team holding mid, but the red team having more out holding more outposts because they have uh, been able to take over one of the blue side outposts. It does go neutral right now, but it's still surrounded by red units. Let's see if the red team can take this back. And they're actually putting a lot of pressure on the next outpost, which is a great call in my opinion. Romania trying to kill the Butchers, but the Butchers neutralizing the post before he actually is able to finish them off. And the Butchers all occupy the post. Which may probably not be what the Red Team wanted, but whatever. But we are way past the 15 minute mark. Level 4 creeps being dropped into this outpost. So that will hold decently. Doing a quick map pan over here. We got our silo back here for the Red Team. Couple Whoppers. And the red team having a lot of control on the map. This defensive line over here by the blue team is all they really have at this point. I mean, they have a decent amount of Goliaths over here, but can they push out? Probably not. That's, oh my god, the red team's also pushing out here. So the red team is doing a double push on two different spots on the map? No. Okay. Now, they aren't actually pushing out bottom. I thought they were going to push out this way, but they are actually pushing this way. Which Lord of Lords does now see, really needs to create that perpendicular defensive line. Drops the generator on the backside gonna bring the units back and try to instead of trying to defend the post so he's gonna concede the post to keep the units and drop to a uh, you know a worse position in order to keep the units would he been able to defend against that i don't know it's hard to say but these units are actually going out the one goliath is gonna be able the two goliaths are gonna be able to kill it i probably think and the tesla is gonna help there but the red team now pulling back oh because of the nuke because the marker was placed over here, the red team pulling out. One! Two! <laughs> the outpost completely obliterated by two different teams' nukes, which do friendly fire. 
And Lord Lord's able to clean up the rest of those harassing Goliaths or other tanks, whatever the hell the other one is. I think the other one was a Dillo. But now the red team pushing back in. They actually have a unit advantage up here at the top. Happy death with a couple uh, gangsters. Why they are called that, I have no idea. Probably will be able to get... Nope. Lord gonna be able to save that Goliath. But now the red team needs to stop that. Needs to stop this. You know, if they want to hold mid. Okay, Dead Scully does stop and reposition. Blue team was able to take back the bottom left. Both teams have a respawning player right now, but it is 55 to 50. The blue team actually has the upkeep advantage, which you wouldn't really guess by the outpost control. And the red team's now moving down. Why? What are they doing? Are they moving down to attack this bottom outpost? Such a strange choice. They had mid. They could have held it. But now the blue team is going to push in so they can take mid. This unit cluster is going to come attack this bottom left? Or are they going to go through mid? Or was Happy Death just putting them, pulling them down? Oh! Oh no! That was a ton of dead units! That was a ton of work done by that one missile. That was like four Dillos and a Goliath, I think. No, they actually look all like Dillo carcasses, but we'll see. I don't know. You guys can rewind, I can't, like I've said before. Dead Scully getting killed in the air by the focus fire. I'm not sure. Bromania got the kill, though. And the red team, once again, surrounding this post. They still... They actually have a uh, very significant upkeep disparate, disparity here. Uh, the red team is, is at 40... Well, it was previously at 41, but now at 55. Versus 64 on the blue team. Romania has 19k credits, could probably dump another goalie out, but they don't have the upkeep for it. Let's see what is happening over here. Lord of Lords doing a goalie drop. Happy Death just needs to body block that. No? Not going to choose to body block it? Okay, there you go. Lord of Lords repositioning. Ooh, going back to heal. Oh, focusing down the silo. Will he be able to get it? Happy Death panicking and trying to uh, kill Lord of Lords instead. The goalie not doing much work after that. The silo is going to be able to survive. Goalie getting finished off there. So the red team holding top. Another nuke going down. Tons of nukes. Tons of missiles, especially in this late game. We're at levels 13, 13, 12, and 12. Hilariously enough, the red team is behind. Still, even still in upkeep. Even though they have an, an outpost advantage. Romania getting killed by Dead Scully. So, another attempt at a silo snipe by Lord of Lords, but getting thwarted by both enemy mechs. Lots of creeps. And that's that missile did nothing. But, I mean, I guess it kind of, well, it, it could have allowed the blue team to get a position here if they acted immediately after the nuke dropped. But could have potentially worked, but didn't happen. I'm not really sure if that type of move is viable, honestly. I haven't really seen that type of thing. I'd love to see someone try to do that type of move, but players in air mech tend to not um, approach silo and missile usage that way, unfortunately. Romania saving that low health goalie. There are basically no healing units out here. Yep. And a, ooh, a missile marker going down here, forcing the blue team f even further back. I would have liked the red team to see the red team put it a little bit further back here because pulling it all the way back here is a little bit far, but putting it directly on the, on the enemy units. Whoa, where is this marker? I have no idea where that was. No idea where that was. But I don't think much... Oh, right here. It was over here. I don't think much died there anyway. Red team trying to get neutralization. Okay, so we are now at the point where each outpost is fairly defended. This one's too far back and has a defensive line here. This outpost has a crap ton of goalies. This outpost has a lot of units there. This outpost has enough that you'd need a major move to be able to do it to do anything, and this outpost is too far behind enemy lines for any major unit push. That would have to be a, like, a coordinated drop or a distract plus a drop. So, right now, both teams 
are facing each other's walls of units. Uh, the vast majority of these walls composed of Goliaths, not surprisingly. Um, will we see any transition in Devastators? Lord of Lords, pretty overextended there. Really, really wanted to get those Goliaths killed, but uh, was not able to get any killed, I think. I don't think anything died there, except the mech. Ooh, did Happy Death grab the box? No, I think it was Dead Scully. Uh, either way, the, the 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 6K now is way less significant than than um, you know <laughs> than anything later or than anything in the early game. One Longhorn is not the same. It does not carry the same worth as it does in minute two, if you know what I'm saying. Romania repositioning the missile the missile marker. It won't get much kill. Mm, the goalie was in flash damage. Okay, the goalie almost died over there. But no one notices. No one on the blue team notices, so it will get healed right back up by the Ratchet, most likely, eventually, or by uh, a, a friendly mech. Happy Death sniping a Whopper off the top. Snipes another Whopper on the ground. Gets away with his life back to the mid post. Actually going all the way back here for safety reasons, which is definitely a high level move. But actually, no defense over here for the, the red team on this side, mostly because of this Bertha, I guess, and all these goalies threatening because you just need a slight creep up to be able to get a lot killed. Lord of Lords finishing off a couple of, what were those? Were those butchers or just level four creeps? Either way, uh, def properly, or quickly enough defending against that. Oh, where is this missile now? Okay, there you go. Oh! Oh, they have desynced their silos. <gasps> they have desynced two silos. Where's one? Si where are the silos? One is here, and the other one is. No, oh, where's the other one? Oh, was that was that blue and red? I guess it was. Okay, I'm very confused because there is a trick where you can desync silos. You can have multiple players with with multiple markers. I don't exactly remember how it works, but it has something to do with arm time. And as long as you put down a marker and no two silos are completely armed at the same time, then you will be able to shoot multiple nukes and keep trading, continually trade off. But the problem is, it's hard to time. So it's not really sustainable. Dead Scully killing three Whoppers, trading three Whoppers for his own life is actually decent at this stage of the game. That didn't get much kill, it was all creeps and infantry. Just 10k for a missile at late game is just, is, it's a bargain, honestly. It's a tank and a half, you know what I mean? It's nothing compared to, <laughs> compared to what you can get out of it. Especially because usually you're upkeep capped, you're sitting on a bunch of credits anyway. So what are you going to spend the money on? You need to, you need some kind of consumable. And that missile, boy howdy, is definitely the best one. Another marker going down. Another repositioned by Lord of Lords. Where did he put it this time? Over here, okay. That's hard to see. That's in the, the salt. It's in the salt crystals. Now positioning back here, forcing the red team to continually reposition their units. <gasps> that is a lot of gangsters. Where is that going? That's going here, I think. Do Lord and Lords, do Lord of Lords and Bromania see this? Oh boy, that's very dangerous. Gangsters do tons of mech damage. And we will see this missile go down and do very little. Kills two ratchets. These gangsters are actually going all the way to fort. Level 16, Lord of Lords actually, now that I think about it, has plenty of health and does plenty of damage. So, able to handle those gangsters in a decent manner. Blue team surrounding mid here. We're not surrounding, but surrounding the important side of mid, <laughs> their enemy's side of mid. Whoa, who's taking damage over here? More fort damage by the red team. A goalie, actually. Another missile going down. Nothing getting killed by that one, but now the blue team is dangerously low. They're at about a third of their health, and level four creeps are very cheap. They're free, actually, so cheap is not even an accurate way to describe. <clears throat> it does look like that if they can continue, I mean, I, it's very obvious at this point that the blue team does not have a lunchbox. 
No one, no one in the blue team has a lunchbox in their loadout, and uh, it's, it shows. It's extremely obvious because it would be built by now. It would have been built a while ago at half health or at three quarters health. But now they're down to a third, and it's getting a little sketchy because level four creeps can do a lot of damage, and they're absolutely free. That, I'm not even sure why that was placed there at that point. <laughs> The goalies are spread out so much, and due to the health density of goliaths, it's okay to spread out goliaths that far. Because nothing can be quickly enough dropped to snipe a goliath, as long as you stay on top of your units. Because you cannot bring two goliaths to snipe another goliath, you can only bring one. So, yeah. So as long as you got your healing units, as long as you're topping off your unit's health decently enough, I'm not sure, I guess this ratchet's not in the, the goalie's not in the range of the ratchet. But, um... But they should be fine just littering their goliaths everywhere, spacing them out nice and evenly, and not having to worry about losing many or any of the goliaths. Oh, Happy Death getting killed by Flacker there. <laughs> but yeah, um, 30 minutes into the game, it is deep into this game, but it doesn't feel as deep as other long games, to be quite honest, because this game has been shifting back and forth like crazy. And now Romania, okay. <laughs> Q healing to stay alive there. Lord of Lords trying to get this neutralization down here. Crazy. These are these are like siege tank lines in StarCraft One. Almost. <laughs> it's too dangerous to to push into it unless you can have a an equivalent, you know, amount or an over, uh, not even equivalent, an overwhelming amount of tanks, of equivalent tanks close to the edges. Is anything close to the to firing range of all these goalies are going to start taking damage and taking damage fast. Lord of Lords trying to take advantage of this high ground over here, but Happy Death putting, or Happy Death and Dead Skull, I'm not really sure who put that up over there. Putting a ton of Goliaths on that high ground. Now the blue team moving back, pulling back, pulling back to defensive position, or are they going to use their units in a different way? Oh. God, two markers over here. I don't even know which is gonna go off. Okay, there you go. But Romania saving the Dillo or saving the Whopper. Another goalie drop by Happy Death. The blue team letting Happy Death slip by. Okay, and Romania taking even more. Okay, just losing the Whopper. But the Goliath doing more damage. Now they're about 25%, 20 to 25%. Lord of Lords coming over here to harass some Whoppers. It is a nuisance, but the blue the, the red team can just rebuild. And it's, so it's not a humongous deal. Whereas you cannot gain your four health back. <laughs> Lord's trying to do what he can with just a single Goliath drop. But at this point, you need a little bit more than that. Dead Scully losing that dogfight, actually. Oh, but Happy Death swiping the box under Lord Lord's nose. Selling it off there. But again, the single... The 6k credits is way less relevant now... Than it, um, than it, than it is early game. A Devastator finally out for the blue team. A full switch to Devastator, well not full, but a heavy switch to Devastator might be what the doctor ordered here for the blue team. And at this point, honestly, m my personal preference, Lord Lord's getting focus fire there, trying to save that uh, Devastator. My personal preference for my playstyle, at this point, especially if I was the red team, would be to just start making dillos and doing quad dillo drops, or, you know, double quad dillo drops with your teammate, and uh, either dropping them on the fort, which is the obvious choice, or on outpost to neutralize very fast, because dillos are extremely efficient with their damage, and I believe bringing four dillos, maybe, no, nah, it's probably four longhorn, but you have to be a high level, a high level carry mech to be able to grab four longhorn, but yeah. Whoa, someone died there. Dead Scully died. <clears throat> but you have to be a high-level carry mech to be able to, to carry four Longhorns. I mean, at this stage of the game, Bromania might be able to do He's level freaking 17. He might be able to carry four Longhorn. That would be more damage than carrying four Dillos. <clears throat> but besides that, I think the four Dillos are the highest... I mean, I guess the four Gemini in the corner, but four Dillos are extremely high. Um, single cargo damage. We are at 99 out of 99. Upkeep. 
for the blue team, and they are probably near full socket whoppers. So they're missing one there, and they're missing one there, and then one here on the corner. But where is this noob going? Nowhere important, as high-level players have learned to deal with that extremely well. We have another goalie drop on the high ground by Happy Death, finishing off Adillo. Lord of Lords responding to it right now, but just pinning down Happy Death. Needs to drop something blocking or something to do damage to this goalie. Okay, the goalie in response to the goalie, but it is not in front of the turret. Romania needs to get this kill for sure. And it should be panic time because they're at the high damage sound, which I think is something like 10%. 15% maybe. And so much tank presence out on the field for the blue team, but no one is pulling the trigger. The Devastator blocking the bridge, which is probably unnecessary. Happy Death with the goalie drop. They should wall up with Whoppers at this point, honestly. They just need they just need something to block and put some Whoppers up here. Where is that going? Okay, alright. They just need to drop and fire, or drop a couple more units to finish off those goalies. Oh, the Devastator got killed! Oh my gosh! And more Whopper kills by Happy Death. Even more of a nuisance to the blue team. You need to rebuild both Whoppers and, like, they have a lot of ground to cover. Like, look at all the spread of these units to create this line to prevent the red team from creeping up. They really need to do something with those units at this point. But it is risky, especially against players who are so competent and know what they're doing to be able to defend. The Devastators might work. Devastator drops would be pretty, you know, no pun intended, but devastating. Uh, the grinder killing the <laughs> the nuke, the missile marker there. Oh, there's another one out on the field. I have no idea where it is. Oh, right here. Oh, goalie getting killed, but that's about it. Box swoop by Lord of Lords, but still not really a big deal. Uh, looks like... Red team's creeping up over here. I'm having a hard time keeping up with all these nukes, to be quite honest. I don't know where they are placing these these markers. I try to look for the odd color dot, <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be working super well. Happy Death with a bunch of gangsters to distract fire and do his striker sword. I would imagine... Oh, boom. I would imagine very high level... Yes. <laughs> level 4 everything except Builder, which is pretty much pointless. But blue team actually pushing up and successfully neutralizing this outpost up here. Need to start clearing these units. Dead Scully with the nuke. Dead Scully with the marker. Blue team needs to do a follow move up to here. Repositioning is taking too long. Lord of Lords needs to go back to, to take care of his health. The low health goalies need to be re relocated. One Goliath gets killed, three Goliaths get killed, the Devastator at half- Oh, the Devastator also got killed! Oh, I think the Devastator didn't get killed by the nuke, but the Grinder finished it off. That is humongous. And the day is saved by one great- Greatly timed and placed nuke by Dead Scully. And they were able to hold this outpost kill- Look at all those dead Goliaths, dude. And one of them was a Devastator. That is a lot. One marker up here. No one on the blue team is responding to this yet. This could be humongous. When this is about to rearm, that's like less than 30 seconds away. Happy Death and Dead Scully still have that marker on there. And the blue team's focusing on the bottom. Not that, not that that's not reasonable, but this is a huge nuke that might kill all this stuff over here. Or at least get these Goliaths to low enough health that the red team could basically take that entire area over. Blue team does get the neutralization, but will they be able to keep the post? No, there's so much red units over there, and a lot of them are butchers. Romania does now see the marker, so he will move it, but there's now a marker down here. Oh man, and this is the active marker as it's blinking. This is the active marker since it's the blinking one. He just moved the goalies down to the active marker. Okay, there you go. Does see it. Does reposition. One goalie does not get killed. But the blue team had to pull back here, losing another set of Goliaths. And gonna lose another set as well if they don't respond to this. I mean, they're responding to the top over here, so they're gaining back, uh, they're gaining back top. But the red team really doing well, splitting the focus. 
And Happy Death gonna be able to kill off all these Goliaths over here. Romania not coming back to save that Goliath in time. We are almost at the 40 minute mark, but boy, it does it feel like a different 40 minutes than the last 40 minute game. Tons of Whoppers. Happy Death is selling off the Whoppers? Why? To make more... To make more... what? Markers? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Healing up the marker, though. And now, throwing the, the marker at the fort. Gonna kill a bunch of Whoppers and do fort damage at the same time. Not a ton of fort damage, mind you, but... Uh, not, uh, not a negligible amount, specifically, specifically considering the amount of health remaining on the blue... Oh, okay, on the blue fort. But, Lord of Lords in Romania taking care of that with the Butchers. Where's this marker? Over here. Alright, not, not, much, not much going on there. And we do have another Whopper harassed by Lord of Lords. But Dead Scully... Oh, also focuses down Dead Scully. Great, great dogfighting there by Lord of Lords. And coming back to get the last Whopper. Finishing more Whoppers on the ground. Will he be able to actually get the silo? Probably not. But that's pretty huge. The blue team just needs to get control, but it's 99 to 62. They definitely still have a significant, substantial upkeep advantage. But can they do anything with it? They have not been outperforming the red team in regards to splitting the defenses and using teamwork and, um, you know, dedicating, basically committing their units after the, the distraction of the other mech which the red team has been doing significantly uh, more effectively. Red team mounting a better defense over here. Lord of Lords, again with the Whopper harass, but Dead Scullies catches it in time. Able to save that Whopper, wow, right in the nick of time. And Lord of Lords just gonna afterburners out of there. Romania, is is Romania going to start to, oh man, just taking that Tesla tower out so we can, uh, so we can, uh, socket another Whopper because they are so starved on upkeep right now. This generator needs to be there. That Whopper being super defended by the Gol Goliaths. There's another Whopper over here that got killed. Just too much to harass because there's so many socket units out on the field. And it's too hard for the blue team to keep up with the damage that these super high level strikers can can apply. Just by the flyby. Goliath getting killed there. Another Goliath almost getting finished off. And another Goliath drop over here by Happy Death. And a marker getting dropped over here. But the Butchers and the Striker Sword will probably be able to handle that. Oh boy. Will it? Will they? No! Oh man, a decent chunk of fort health actually got taken out there. I didn't realize how much gets um, gets killed or gets gets applied, how much damage applies to fort. So I'm pretty sure it's some kind of reduction. But the Whopper gets killed, all those butchers, that Dillo get, got killed. I mean, the red team might want to consider walling up Whoppers at this point and just moving out with all of their Goliaths as much as they possibly can in one single death ball with a couple of healing units dropped to detect mines or a couple light units to push forward to, to, to neutralize mines. It's very hard to move out at this point for the red team or for the for the blue team. And again more Whopper harassed from Lord of Lords. Not really getting where because he's actually getting caught by Dead Scully each time now. And the missiles. Oh, but Lord of Lords with the better timed missiles. Finishing Dead Scully on the ground. Waiting for that land. Waiting to have all those land. And the, the missile trying to kill the other nuke. Trying to kill the other silo. Will Happy Death reallocate this? 
Will the Butcher be able to get this killed before the nuke drops? I think it will. Where is the silo on the on the on the blue side? I don't even think they have one anymore. Oh, there is one here. Ah, but it's not armed. So the butcher able to finish off the marker. But will Lord of Lords be able to kill this this silo? And he will be. There you go. Probably won't survive this. Oh, Q heal to the rescue does afterburner away. And another, another target getting dropped down. Getting picked up by Lord of Lords, but does not want to die with it in his cargo. Needs to drop it somewhere and heal heal up. Which he does. Red team frantically trying to respond to the repositioning of this marker. And they will be okay as the missile has dropped. The last goalie that was in range that was smoking does get picked up by Dead Scully, so they are going to be just fine. But it does allow the blue team to creep up a little bit more. Lord of Lords and Bromania teaming up and getting the kill on Happy Death there. Moving up to the bottom outpost like they have done countless times in this game. Three Goliaths getting responded to by Dead Scully. Do they have enough to actually pose a threat over here? The neutralization needs to be paramount. Dead Scully actually really low on health. Happy Death really low on health gets killed so now will the blue team be able to take this outpost over dead scully repositioning the units to the backside so this will get neutralized will there be another nuke drop to this is this is like deja vu again and these goalies are such at low health but is there a nuke or is there a marker already manufactured by the red team to be able to take this outpost back does go up to blue for now We're gonna get neutralized pretty quickly romania low in health Falls victim to those that striker focus fire and the missiles. The missiles just doing so much damage. And another blue missile going down here. That's really not going to accomplish too much. Oh no, actually, that, that hit a lot of units on the outside of the range. Whopper, Dillo, etc. The grinder going to get finished off by the Dillo, by the goalies. But the blue team is upkeep capped. As I'm, I would think that there was a little bit of harass. No, they're upkeep capped at 111. Now down to 104, but they can barely rebuild as they only have seven space left in their upkeep. Lord of Lords over here, teammateless, low on health. Will Happy Death be able to get this finish? No. Lord of Lords getting back using that afterburner, but again, the blue team losing quite a lot of units. Needed a little bit more, I think, to be able to get that secured, but they do not have space for it in their upkeep. Romania coming back to the fight. He's gonna look around what he can do at the top. We are at 47 minutes. That is massive. Goliaths moving. Where are they moving with these Goliaths? That's a ton of Goliaths. Lord of Lords going with the fort damage. Okay, so will he try to push this all the way to fort? Because if so. This is going to pull them back, or not. Maybe the goalie's going to be able to fire freely because of all these Goliaths that are going to distract, which is actually happening right now. And the Goliath ticking away at the red team health with zero response. The marker getting dropped. The nuke getting dropped. The Goliaths getting killed. The outpost getting neutralized. Lord of Lords really low on health might not survive this exchange, but... I think overall this entire thing was worth it. This Goliath finally got responded to by a couple of level 4 creeps while Lord of Lords get fin gets finished off by the red team. But now the red team is getting closer to having the score evened in terms of uh, uh, fort health. They are at about 66 two thirds of their health right now. And that was just by a single goalie drop timed with a push in order to significantly delay the response by the red team. And that's the kind of play that I definitely like to see. Now Lord of Lords doing another goalie drop, but zero, you know, distract. Uh, and two enemy mechs in the area are gonna be able to respond to it very quickly. Right now, what he's doing is allowing his teammate to freely move, but Romania is just maintaining units right now, not trying to make a move. The goalie does get killed, and uh, 
probably another five to seven percent of fort health was uh, ticked away there. So was it worth it? Probably not. Probably not in that specific case. Butchers get dropped, but there is plenty of bunkered infantry there. Lord of Lords trying to see what else you can kill at the fort. Trying to see what socketed units can be demolished, but doesn't really find anything. Romania trying to harass with just his mech doing the same thing. And that's the thing. At this point, dude, they are level 20. Dead Scully's the only one that's level 19. Everyone else is at level 20. You got max abilities. Oh, Happy Death didn't even pour any more points into, into Builder. <laughs> Because who cares? <laughs> Lord Lord's finishing off the silo there. Using his uh, striker melee to be able to target it without having to be distracted. But a silo gets dropped, or a missile gets dropped. Lord Lord's re re reallocating Goliath, but needs to reallocate some butchers to stop the, m the marker from dropping. And it does get killed! So no nuke drop. The, the, the sound... <laughs> The sound gets played because I think that's how the game is programmed. That was cut so close that the missile did not show up. Therefore, no damage was done. I mean, the, the red team has the right idea. They can win with drops. The blue team's fort is so defended, though, that it will take a couple, uh, depending on what you bring. I don't think Goliaths is the right call because... I'm pretty sure multiple Longhorn or multiple Dillo do more damage than one Goliath. I'm pretty sure four will do the job and out damage the Goliath. And you can have it, you can have those tanks in multiple positions rather than the, just the one blockable. Uh, so it'll be harder for the opponent to stop the damage from coming in because it'll be more micro to accomplish to be able to block. Goliath gets dropped. Lord of Lords neutralizing the post, but tons of level 4 creeps for the red team get dropped right back down. And it does look like a goalie is shooting in here, but gets immediately blocked by Happy Death. Definitely the appropriate response. Lord of Lords repositioning, but really half health. And okay, so a little bit more fort damage done by the blue team. Where is that missile? Right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Again, having a little bit of a hard time keeping up with all these missiles because they are so freaking random. Blue team now moving out. Probably going to stop it here. But the, another m marker goes down. Blue team could reallocate. Maybe send him to the mid? But just wants to create that defensive line. Would be nice to see them move up and cross the bridge or something like that. That would be pretty cool. But all they have to do is wait out the missile and now they can do what they were going to do originally. Another goalie drop. I think that was by Lord of Lords because I was staring at Romania the entire time. Dead Scully to respond with a couple creeps because creeps are not only free, but they're awesome. Level 4 creeps are crazy. And is Lord of Lords going to be able to get away with the saving this goalie? I think so. I think so. It's a pretty high health goalie. Needs to go back to get it though. And there you go. Swooping it, swooping it back. This game is reaching an hour. Very, very close here. But we do have Happy Death with... No, nope, that was Dead Scully. With a quick scout. I thought he was going to do another drop. Missile getting dropped by the blue team. Forcing the red team to push out, which is a great move. But they are pushing out on the weak side of the blue team over here. And they're going to move down to where the Tesla Tower is. The silo gets dropped. Not really any significant damage done. Or that's still a silo gets dropped. The missile gets dropped. Silo getting sniped by Dead Scully and a couple of level 4 creeps. And now blue team going to be forced to pull out. Actually, the red team moving up because the blue team is way out of position. Their units are not in a great line right now. And they can kill a lot, actually. 61 to 101, which is hilarious. You would think that the blue team, just looking at that upkeep, has this entire map. But... That is not the case. The red team has almost the, the, half the map. They have their their entire side of the map. And they have the blue team down to 5% health. Losing a decent amount of goalies there. So now going down to the 50s. But now it's back up to 57. And the, the, red, the blue team just again going with the slow creep. With the Bertha up. I'm not sure what the game plan is here. It's getting so late. 
that they need to probably do something else. I mean, they're overwhelming down here at the bottom. And the Bertha getting repositioned by Bromania. So they will be able to clear it relatively, but the mechs are so damn strong right now that they have cleared the blue units by themselves! Oh my god, double striker OP, man. Missile, missile, missile burst, missile burst, guns. Dead Scully not healing up in time to, to get himself saved from Bromania's uh, missiles and fire there, but... Doesn't, dude, look at all of those dead blue units. It is craziness. Lord of Lords coming with a little bit of a creep drop. Doing a little bit of damage. Not really enough. Though, unfortunately. But now going with a goalie. Now going with a goalie drop. Happy Death to res responding very quickly, and gonna go back to save the goalie. Honestly, I, yeah, I, I think the move that they're not, that's not really popping into anyone's heads right now is a multi-low tier tank drop. Tier 1 tank drop. Um, it would do tons of damage, and it would be very difficult to block. Even on the blue, even on the blue fort, which has tons of, tons of units over here, they could, you know, just kind of spread them out here at the front. And that would be very difficult to get completely blocked. And then you start repositioning in the holes that they create, and etc, etc. Lord of Lords trying to finish off the Gaddy that is finishing off his creeps. Which is pretty hilarious. Will Bromania... Nope, just doing a scout, man. Man, those two strikers killing all of those... Goli Goliaths were ridiculous, and Bromania just flying in circles, getting focused by Happy Death and Dead Scully. Lord of Lords grabbing the box, but again, not a big deal. Everyone is grasping for straws, trying to figure out what they can do in this game to actually make something happen, make something work. I mean, the nukes get continually dropped because you're going to continually get more money, especially if you're upkeep capped. So, it's an easy choice there. So, they just keep dropping nukes. Hope that the other team doesn't notice or that you can distract them enough to actually get a good shot off. But, other than that, we're at a super stalemate right now. Transition into Devastators is, is sounding pretty good to me. Because you could just basically... Steamroll all the way through. And the Devastators will pretty much not die. And if someone sends a nuke, just spread them out. You know? Oh. I didn't even see that. I don't know where that was. Where was it? I don't care. Right, where the hell was it? <laughs> uh, whatever. So now, yeah, both teams are very confused. Both teams are very confused. It's like, what can we do at this stage of the game that we haven't already tried? Dead Scully just trying to, again, upkeep cap the blue team. But, like, it's just a delay tactic at this point. Maybe you'll upkeep cap them enough so they won't have the defenses to respond to something that you do. Not sure. But, um... <laughs> Just trying to... Trying to sword down, uh... A mine, which is not a marker. Both teams don't know what to do at this point. They're like, man... Can this game just be the next game now? <laughs> It's just wa running around, flying around with your mechs and harassing. Happy Death getting finished off by Lord of Lords. Lord of Lords dropping another goalie, but does get immediately responded to by Dead Scully. Someone needs to all in. Someone needs to all in, and the team that has more to lose right now that, that needs to do that is the blue team. 
But the problem is, all the upkeep is sitting here. Like, more than half of the upkeep. Like, this is not that much in comparison to this. Look at this. And then a couple here. That's about it. A little bit in their build queue. Looks like there's a goalie in Bromania's build queue. And that's about it. <clears throat> and now, do, does it look like red team is also going all in? It looks like blue team might be doing that. But the red team is like, screw this. Like, we have... Oh, okay, not a lot died there. That was a good that was a good repositioning. And now moving right back out. This is hilarious. This is this is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. The red team trying to move out, but their goliaths are so slow that they cannot outrun the missile, the marker repositioning. So the mechs have to start shuffling them up. And then now you have a weird dogfight uh, Goliath repositioning game. And so the red team has decided to just drop the plan of pushing them through the middle. And blue team sees what they're trying to do, so they respond with their own Goliaths in defense of their own. This is hilarious. We are past an hour, and as you can see, the UI cannot handle this. Dead Scully getting finished off and focused there. But happy death with a bunch of go oh, Dillos! A bunch of Dillos just like I wanted to see! Just like I wanted to see, doing tons of damage! Spreading them out! And although loses his own life, he brought the blue team fort health down to like 2%. And he just needs to do that one more time. He just needs to do that one more time. Maybe in conjunction with Dead Scully's drop. The blue team needs to wall off with whoppers. I don't know if people are aware of that that tactic anymore, of that option. Okay, nothing died. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Lord Lord's just putting down tons of defense, which I get, but... Dude, I don't think the red team has lunchboxes either. You want to put turrets up here, man, so they can't... They can't, um, so they can't drop units there. Because enemy non-turret units cannot occupy the same space as your turrets. They have to shift around them. They cannot push turrets. Turrets can push other turrets. Socketable units can push other socketable. But mobile units cannot push. Um, I think, I think the code refers to them as massive. Massive units, so socketable units, anything that is a turret. I think sentry turrets even fall under. <gasps> no, happy death with the with the with the Dillos so close. Oh my god! Another missile going out, but that's not going to get anything done. Does look like Dead Scully with a single Goliath at the front door. Body blocked by Lord of Lords, and Bromania finishing off a couple stray flackers as well. The multi-tank drop. Happy Death with the three. <gasps> Death Scully and Happy Death are going together. They're going together with the total of four tanks. One is a goalie. Three is the Ardillos. And that is going to be game. Finally at the end. Past an hour mark. Happy Death and Dead Scully bringing... I think that was their first tandem fort drop. And uh, it was like at around an hour mark when Happy Death did the first multi tier one tank drop with those dillos so whoa ho ho if you guys stuck around to the end congratulations that you are <laughs> i commend your commitment to watching this game uh our hour long games especially with that much action there were there was a lull towards the end where both teams <laughs> there was a lot of dead silence i i, I admit i could have said more but there, there there was a lot of dead silence when both teams were like mm, fly around and uh yeah Let's just kill some whoppers, I guess? No, there's a silo. I can try to kill that. Uh-oh, I died because I was s <laughs> flying in circles behind enemy lines for too long. And 
Yeah, I mean, what I was clamoring for, what I wanted to see, happy to finally pull that out at the end. Doing, I guess, a total of three sets of Dillo drops. The last one only had three Dillos in it rather than the four from the uh, other two. But that did them in. That does tons of damage. It's harder to block. And there you go. Dead Scully and Happy Death taking this ranked 2v2 over Lord of Lords and Bromania, but great play on both sides by all four players. If you have any games that don't break just like this one that was sent in to me, please get, please uh, consider uh, DMing me on Discord and um, enjoy the game. Enjoy these games. Hopefully something big is coming. Keep saying that, but blah, blah, blah. This is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.